Hi everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I make videos on ERP Cloud, EPM, analytics, and integrations. To see more videos on these topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel. In the previous video, we took a look at the anatomy of the dashboard. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create a sample dashboard, including dashboard prompts and why you want to use a dashboard prompt. As you can see in the screen, we have a dashboard with three different analysis and one dashboard prompt area. To the left, you see the dashboard prompt with two prompts, invoice type and period. To the right, you see two analysis, two pie charts, and at the bottom section, you see the tabular data. I can select value for invoice type and period, click on apply, and that's gonna filter the data for each of these OTB analysis in the dashboard. All right, so we're gonna take a step back, look at the individual OTB analysis, and figure out how we can add those analysis to the dashboard. So I have these three different analysis. One is for invoices, one is for payments, and one is invoice details. If I click on edit, you can see the first one, which is invoices by period, has a pie chart. In the criteria, I am prompting the user for, or I'm filtering by the data entered by the user. And the column that I'm looking for is calendar month code, which is equivalent to the period. Now in the prompt section, you'll see that I have a prompt for this analysis. So when the analysis is run, it will prompt the user to pick a period. And for that period, it's going to show you the data. Now, if I go back to the catalog, payments by period, it has a similar structure. For invoice details, I am prompting the user for the invoice type name. So if you go to the prompts, you can see that I have a prompt for invoice type. Now, these kind of prompts are called inline prompts. Let me go to Oracle's documentation and show you this one. It talks about inline and dashboard prompts and what are the differences. Take a look at the highlighted uh, lines. A prompt that is created at the analysis level is called an inline prompt. Because the prompt is embedded in the analysis and is not stored in Oracle, you don't have to worry about. So basically it says that it is, if the prompt is defined at the analysis level, it is an inline prompt. Now, because it is an inline prompt, you cannot add it to other analysis. So even if you're using the same filter, uh, you cannot have one prompt, one inline prompt shared with another analysis. And that's one of the drawbacks of inline prompts. Uh, the other thing is the inline prompt is an initial prompt, right? So before, when you run the analysis, it's gonna prompt the user. The user is gonna select the value, click on okay, and then it's gonna render the visualization. But if you wanna change it, you'll have to rerun the analysis. So that's what it says. Inline prompt is an initial prompt, meaning that it only displays when the analysis is rendered. After the user selects the prompt value, the prompt fields disappear from the analysis. And the only way for the user to select different prompt values is to rerun the analysis. So let me show you that. All right, so I have invoice details here. Let me open it. And it's gonna prompt you or prompt the user to select the invoice type value, right? So let me go ahead and select credit memo and debit memo. Click on okay and I can see the data. What if I wanted to want to change the invoice type to standard, right? There's no way you can do it. You have to go back or rerun the analysis. Now, how do you go back? You can click on the back button and it's gonna take you to the catalog. It doesn't take you back to the prompt page, right? So you have to rerun it again by selecting some, some other value. So maybe I wanted to see the standard. Click okay, right? Now, the other thing that it talks about is both these invoices by period and in payments by period, both uses a filter or prompt for the period. But since these are inline prompts, I cannot share the prompt that I created for invoices by period analysis with payments by period analysis. I have to create separate prompts in each of these analysis. So those are the drawbacks of creating an inline prompt. Before I go into dashboard prompt, let's see how to create a dashboard. Let us add these analysis into the dashboard and see how it behaves. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new dashboard. Let me save that in the same folder. So you can drag and drop the column and then the section, then add the content to the section. Or you could just navigate to the folder where you have the uh, content or the analysis. So I have it in financials, um, DB, V2. I can drag and drop the analysis into the content section. So now you can see that it created the column and the section and Within the section, we have the invoices by period. Now, at, at this moment, section is um, having a vertical alignment. So any other analysis that I add is gonna be vertically aligned from top to bottom, but I wanna change it to um, horizontally aligned. So at the section level, I'm gonna go change the property to horizontal layout. Now you can see that the analysis are aligned horizontally from left to Right. All right, let me drag and drop the invoice details as well. And you can see that it is it has created a new section and the analysis is part of that section. So let me save this and click on run. When you run this, it will show the individual inline prompts for those individual analysis. So you can see that this one is period for invoices. This is period for payments and this is for invoice type. Now. So let me select one. And let me go ahead and select this one as well. Let me go ahead and select debit memo and credit memo. Right, so I've, I've selected the values. Now, there's no way I can apply these values at the same time to all the three analysis that we have in the dashboard, right? It is applied individually because there's an OK button. When I click this OK button, it's gonna take me to that specific analysis. Here you go. So it, it shows me the invoice amount, but the other two analysis is not to be seen, right? So that's the drawback of using inline prompts. And again, it comes back to this. I can select and click on OK and it'll show me that specific analysis. And that's why we have to remove the inline prompts and then use dashboard prompts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the individual analysis. So I've removed the individual uh, inline prompts from each of these analysis. Now let's go back and see what dashboard prompts are. So based on Oracle's documentation, a prompt that is created at the dashboard level is called a dashboard prompt because the prompt is created outside of the specific analysis and is stored in the catalog as an object. So you can reuse that object in any number of dashboards and dashboard pages which can then be added to any dashboard, dashboard page that contains the columns that are specified in the prompt, right? Um, you can read through this, but the other thing that I wanna highlight is dashboard prompts are reusable because you can create one prompt and use it many times. When the prompt object is updated and saved, those updates are immediately displayed in all dashboards where the prompt is used. So basically what it means is I can reuse it when I select uh, values for the prompt and click on apply, any analysis that uses those, those filters, uh, those columns specified in the prompt is gonna get updated and it's gonna refresh the visualization and display to the user. So that's what it means. I'll leave a link to this documentation in the video description. Uh, it's a good read, so make sure you read this. All right, with that knowledge, let's go back to the dashboard Oh, before before we go there, let's create a dashboard prompt. So go into new and select dashboard prompt. Now I'm using my favorite subject area, so I'm gonna go and select payables, 
transactions real time. And I'm going to select, I'm going to create two prompts. So select column prompt. One is for invoice type. So scroll down, invoice type. I'm going to change the label to invoice type. Click OK. And one more for the period. So expand time, select calendar month code, click OK, and change this to select period. All right, so now you'll see that we only have two prompts. So click on save. I'm going to name this um, DB prompt. Okay, go back to the catalog. Let's edit the dashboard. So I want the prompts to be the left uh, of the analysis. So I'm, go I'm gonna have to add a new column. So drag and drop the column to the, go all the way to the middle of the pane, content pane, and you know, it'll highlight that in blue. And that's an indication that you can place the column there. Column one has been added. Now let's go ahead and add our dashboard prompt. There you go. All right, so now we have the column one section and dashboard prompt, and this, the column two has all the analysis. So let's save, click on run. You can see that we have the dashboard prompt here. So let me go ahead and select credit memo, debit memo, and let's go ahead and select a period. Let's select October, click OK. And when I, when I apply, the filter is going to be applied for all the three analysis that we have in the dashboard. Click Apply. All right, the filter has been applied, the data has been refreshed, and it's all good. Now, if the user wanted to change something, I can come here, change this, and select a different value. Maybe I want um, November and remove October, click OK, click Apply and the value is updated based on the filters provided by the user. So that's how you can add analysis to the dashboard and also create dashboard prompts. You also saw the difference between inline prompts and dashboard prompts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn and um, Listen to my podcast, Oracle Cloud Bytes. It's available on Spotify and Google Podcast. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, suggestions, and what do you want to see next. I have started a tutorial on Oracle Integration Cloud. Make sure to check it out. All right. I wish you all have a good weekend. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.